Before you know it, something entered my, my back, lifted me up. It carried me like a rope. There are some testimonies that you hear in some churches of these days, and you wonder, what kind of testimony is this? Hmm. Now, this is to what this man was saying in the beginning. He said something carried him like an aeroplane. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you everything that happened. Please tell me to the end of this video. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please do it to subscribe to the channel, like our videos and share on your social media platforms. So the last chosen charismatic ministries has been trending seriously and the reason why they are trending is because of the series of testimonies that have been coming out of that church members have been you know testifying about the goodness of the lord in their life and this testifying is actually testifying because the stories are really really hey i don't know what to say anyway i'll leave this clip of this testifier for you to watch before we continue with this video before you know it, something entered my my back, lifted me up. It carried me like a role play from now to maybe Shariro um, uh, Express there. When he reached there, he dropped me. When he dropped me, I tried to look something that carried me. When I looked, it was lion. It was what? Lion. Lion. Hey. So when the lion dropped me, the place was very narrow, very tight. He now raised one of his hand up. He said, I should go like this. When I, I go, he said, bye bye. So guys, you heard what the testifier, testifier said. He said the thing that I'm um, crying like an aeroplane is actually a lion. A lion in Nigeria. <laughs> Except that miracle did not happen in Nigeria. You all know that a lion is a, uh, it's a scarce species in the country. Even the ones in the zoo, they are not well fed. So how would a, a lion in Nigeria that is hungry now carry someone like a plane to his destination? You see, these are one of the things that makes these chosen testimonies and chosen church to be trending on social media. Even Maraji has not jumped in on the trend uh, to make a skit about another testimony that a member of chosen actually testified about. Now, this testimony that she gave, she said um, she was about writing an, an exam, and there was a part of the exam that uh, none of the uh, those writing, none of them knew the answer to. Surprisingly, a man in white beard and white came and started giving her answers to that question. Now, this uh, this, this crazy man, the kind of testimony we see from the lost children's church, I'm not only not lost children, even though that church is in Nigeria. So, I'm going to leave you with the final clip of. The lady that was testifying about him um, writing that exam, and so you can hear everything that she says. Then you tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you think this is a more critical Christianity, or maybe they are doing what they just know how to do? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments after you finish watching the video. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens that we went for promotion exams, which comprises of Nigeria Army. Nigerian Navy and Nigeria Air Force. Right there in the hall, 50 questions we are given. 40 questions we are career progression questions. Why 10 questions happen to be general questions, which is called current affairs. Choose in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We all have written our career questions. It came to these very 10 questions, which says, mention 10 Francophone countries and their capital. Brethren, I want to let you know, right there in the hall, nobody knew this question. Hmm. Even myself standing, talking to you, I don't know anyone out of it. Since I know Nigeria and Ghana, they are not Francophone countries, I don't know what to do. All I did was, I raised up the question paper, I declared to the question paper, I said, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. This question, who are you? <laughs> Where is the God of my pastor? Power. Hey! Brethren, do you know what happened? Tell us! All of a sudden, an old man, very huge, appeared by my right hand side with hey. white apparent. The hair filled up with white hairs. He told me, my daughter, begin to write. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Power! Hey, hey, hey! 
Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, I began to write. I've written one, two, three, four questions. Each moment I finish any one. I say yes. He will tell me another one. I say yes. Not knowing that that yes was attracting the attention of the invigilators from Abuja. Brethren, six of them came out at once and asked me to stand up. I stood up. Thorough searching was made. I was ordered to sit down. I sat down. I began to write. The man appeared again. Hey. He was telling me the question. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Power. Hey, hey, hey. In your name, Abraham. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The number seven question. They came again. Since invigilators from different units, they came again hey. and pulled off my apron. I became annoyed. I said instruction was that we should take away all the communication gadgets. They took away your apron? Yes, sir. They removed my apron the second time they came for interrogations. So I told them that instruction was that she made away with all communication gadgets, which I obeyed. You can see the white garment people. They appear on their white clothes anywhere they go. They put both teams in the football match field. They identify them with their uniform. My general officer has been identified with apron anywhere he goes. And myself, I'm here with my own apron as they choose them. What offense have I committed? Mm. Brethren, one of them said, give her the apron. I know them. Hey! Hey! Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The moment what surprised me mostly was when the apron was pulled off from my body, the man disappeared. Hey. That was when I became so pissed off and I became angry as well. So they now returned the apron. I wore it. He appeared again. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, God is great. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As he appeared, he began to tell me the rest of the questions, completed 10 good questions. Hey! I wrote them correct and accurately. Hey! Brethren, to me, it was like a dream. When I'm writing, I'll be looking at the man. Brethren, do you know I finished writing my questions? A sister who sat by my side was the mountain of fire because of the logo on her clothes. I took it up like this. I was cross-checking my right up. I signaled to her. Sister, do everything you can do, humanly possible. Any moment from now, I'm going to submit my questions. When I was cross-checking, sister hurriedly copied. Immediately she finished, brethren, I stood up and submitted my question. Everybody in the hall, they were all looking at me. That was how my brothers and sisters, we were right there in the hall, both Army, Air Force, and Navy, 192. Only two of us were able to make this thing. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Please like and leave a comment and subscribe.